Hi, I'm Lillian, and in this video I'm going to be doing my bullet journal setup for November and NaNoWriMo. I've been bullet journaling for almost four years, and I've pretty much got it down to what I like, but this month I am going to be trying a few different spreads and seeing how they work for me. First of all, I have my month at a glance page. For this, I just write the month really big at the top, and then the days of the month down the side, along with which day of the week they are, uh, to help me get a really good overview of the month. I love how title pages look, but they don't work for me because once they're done, I never really look back at them, so it just seems like a bit of a waste of time and paper. Then on the opposite page, I put my habit trackers. For these, I draw kind of an outline of the calendar month. And so when I complete that habit on a specific day, I can fill in that specific date. There are a few things I track every month and some I like to mix up. Uh, so for November, I'm gonna be tracking journaling, NaNoWriMo, Instagram, friends, reading, bookstagram, days I'm active, no spend days, days with no anxiety, getting eight hours sleep, plus space for two habits I can add on later if I want. I tend to plan in just black and white uh, with a few pops of color. So for November, I chose to have a little bit of purple in this first spread. This pen is just from a pack of felt tips I must have had like three or four years now, so nothing special. And the washi tape is from a pack my friend Hannah got me for my birthday in August. So far, apart from NaNoWriMo and work, I don't have much going on in November. There's really just bonfire night and then my latest blood donation I have planned. After my month at a glance and habit tracker pages, I always have my monthly goals. I love New Year's resolutions and goals and these spreads are always some of my favourites. On the left I have space for my individual goals and then each one gets a kind of progress bar I fill in once it's completed. I can usually fit up to 10 or 11 goals on this page if I want, uh, but so far I have six planned out for November, plus space to add two more if I want. Then on the right here, I have a collage made up of seasonal photos. I get these all from Pinterest, uh, where I have separate mood boards for each season. So these are all from my autumn mood board there. I love making these collages and finding just the right combination of photos for each month. So the previous two spreads are the same every month, but now I'm gonna be doing my specific NaNoWriMo spreads. This first one is my overall tracker, which is gonna be a line graph showing my progress throughout the month. I'm doing the lines and the X axis in pen, but leaving the Y axis labels in pencil, as I'm not actually gonna fill this all in until the end of the month. This might seem odd, but I mostly want to have this to look back on in the future, um, not as something I fill in every day. Until I know how many words I managed to write overall, I won't know how to label the y-axis. My aim is 25,000 words, uh, which is what I've written here in pencil, but depending on exactly how much I'm actually able to write, I might have to adjust this later. Next, I'm gonna do a tracker for my daily word counts. And again, I'm doing the same mixture of like pen and pencil because I won't be filling this out again properly until the end of the month. At the moment I have the y-axis going up to 4,000 words because in previous years on really good writing days I have written that much but I don't know how this year is going to go and I don't want to make a graph that like won't fit the right data on it. These next two pages are new ideas I'm doing on my bullet journal for the very first time. Firstly, on this left page, I'm writing out a quick overview of the 27 chapter outline method. This is an outlining technique I first heard Kat at Kathy Tastic talk about, and it's the main one I've been using to help plan my story. I thought it would just be kind of fun to include in my bullet journal, so I've decided to dedicate this whole page to it.
On the right hand page I decided to make a NaNoWriMo tracker that I would be able to fill in every day. It's pretty basic, just 30 boxes, but the plan is that every day I can colour them in, maybe do a little doodle or record my word count for the day. For the boxes that will be filled in at the end of each week, I added a thicker outline, just to give them a little bit of that extra gravitas. This next page is my final NaNoWriMo spread. It's going to be all the music I listen to during the month that helps inspire ideas for my story. So not just my favourite songs or albums or the ones I listen to the most, but ones that specifically help me spark new ideas. This is going to be another spread I fill in as I go, but I have already added two things to it, as I've already been using Halsey's album Manic to give me some ideas, and I find literally every song Florence the Machine have ever released to be incredibly inspirational in terms of my story. Finally on the right hand page is where I will start using my bullet journal for my daily to-do lists. As I don't use it every day, I don't plan out like whole weekly spreads ahead of time as that would just result in a lot of empty wasted paper. So all I've done is I've written the title for the first day of November, so I'm all ready to go when the month starts. So those are all my spreads for November and this year's NaNoWriMo. Here's a quick overview of them all again. This ended up taking way longer than I anticipated because I don't normally sit down and set up the whole month in one go, but I am really pleased with how it all turned out. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.